Uh, Dr. Tom Mayer, I'm the medical director for the NFL Players Association, and it's my job to oversee the care that's provided to all NFL players. So I work uh, with the Players Association, but uh, in concert with the team physicians and the league to make sure that uh, our players get the best possible health care. Firstly, thank you so much for being here, and I'd like to ask you how can organizations like the Men's Health Network work closely with you so that we can create awareness on the issue of TBI and CTE? Well, I think the Men's Health Network makes absolute sense. Not that every man is a football fan, and not that every football fan is a man, but it's just critically important to help understand how we can interact in ways that, as Congressman Runyon said, to create awareness. The importance of that concussion is not a mild injury. It's a severe uh, traumatic brain injury that has long-term effects that, as you saw from uh, Dr. McKee's presentation, that there's a tremendous amount of risk uh, when this occurs and that it's not exclusive either to contact sports uh, or to our warfighters in theater, but uh, traumatic injuries from, from uh, automobile accidents, from falls. So it really affects uh, common ground that both organizations can work very closely together. Could you talk a little bit about how members of the Congress, the sports industry, and the military can come together and work as a community to raise awareness uh, regarding this issue? Well, I think understanding that, that brain injury is brain injury, whether it occurs from a blast, uh, from an IED in a theater, whether it occurs from a contact sport, whether football, not even at our level, but at youth football, uh, all the way up to, to Division I uh, NCAA football, to uh, traffic accidents, all those pieces really intersect together to say that head injury is better understood when you look at, at Dr. McKee's data and data from other places as something that has much more severe consequences than previously known. And when you start to see people have erratic behavior, to have depression, to have anger management issues, thinking about what the role of traumatic brain injury was. And as you heard, it could be distant by many, many years. But being able to put that together, and then finally, we need research to figure out not just diagnosis, but treatment. Can we reverse the tau proteins that you saw there if we found them early enough and began to be able to make an intervention? Um, it's really hard to reach the general public regarding this, so do you think we can use uh, NFL as a launch pad to educate and inform people regarding head and brain injuries? Yeah, I think that, that athletes uh, from many sports, depending upon uh, what sport they're involved with, uh, have a responsibility to help educate the public on the risks involved with that. doesn't mean we shouldn't be playing football. It means we need to be aware of the best ways to reduce the number of concussions and to reduce the effect of concussions once uh, they've occurred. So I think the, uh, the athlete is, in our society is still a, a very, very powerful voice. What other key stakeholders, in your opinion, should be involved in this? Well, I think, uh, you know, both athletes, not just at the NFL level, uh, their significant others, their loved ones, parents, you know, coaches, uh, certainly legislators have a, a key role in awareness of this whole thing coming together at Congressman Runyon's request is a great example of the kind of chemistry, the kind of synergy that can be created when people that either didn't have the information or in many cases didn't know each other, didn't realize that, hey, we have common ground. All these kinds of things just need to occur more and more. So where do we go from here? What are the next steps according to you? Well, I think that there's uh, in increasing education, increasing understanding, uh, getting the, the, the voice of the, of the patient, the, the people who have been concussed, even at a low level, so that people understand what, what it's about, what's at risk, and you know, making sure that the bonds that are formed by events like this continue to be strengthened. And then obviously, uh, funding is, is key, making sure that we get the research done so we have a better sense of how do we diagnose this and how do we treat it. Thank you so much for being with us and sharing your insights. It's my really pleasure. Helpful. Thank Thanks. You.